This spot looks good. A new decoration was added to Noelle's room. While at the SSS building, Lord and the others decided to take a break from their duties. They each retired to their rooms for a while to take a rest and go over their respective reports. Hmm, I think that just about does it. Do you have a minute, Noel? Lloyd? Yeah, come on in. Is it time to move out? No, nothing like that. We didn't get any orders or anything. The others are still lounging around, so don't feel rushed. Oh, are you writing a report? Ah, uh, yeah, it's one of my duties as part of my temporary transfer. I have to send Commander Balls in a, a report every week. Oh, I see. Well, keep up the good work. Okay, you've added some interesting decorations, haven't you? A bike and... what's this? Racing flags? Oh, you know what they are? Well, yeah. I did live in Calvert for two years. Well, I think about it, I saw plenty more bicycles there than I do here. As for the flags, they have all the car races over there too, right? Yeah, exactly. Actually, my late dad was especially fond of those. Back when I was young, he took me on a trip to see a race. He was always so busy with the CGF, so he only ever went once. Understandable. So, is he the reason why you love cars so much? <laughs> that obvious, huh? Next time I get some time off, I'd love to watch another race. Not that I ever have free time, though. <laughs> Likewise. Though I get the sense she'd prefer to be behind the wheel rather than watching. Anyway, setting aside racing, do you have any good recommendations for a bicycle? Could you let me know? Huh? Back when I lived in Calvert, I had a friend who rode bikes, so it got me a little bit interested. I was thinking we could go for a ride on one of our off days. What do you say? That sounds great. They're super useful. It's transportation, exercise, and most importantly, fun. I'll bring you a catalogue from my house next time. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Completed Noelle's decoration collection. Do I have two things for her room, though? Like the, the bear or something? I, d I don't know. Yeah, we can't do Kia's yet. Right, so, where were we in the rounds? We did copy, didn't we? Sure we did. I still like, where, where did Kia say she was going? I don't know. I expected to see her in the, um... What's it called? West Street? West Street. I expected to see her in West Street. But didn't. Um, let's go up here first. Is there anyone around? Like, I don't see no one. Oh, hello. It's almost time for Arkansas's encore performance. They just revealed a new cast member, too. Can't stop thinking about it now. They added a new girl by the name of Sully. The real surprise is that she's still young enough to be attending Sunday school. A sign is affixed to the locked door. Anyway, Trading Limited, Crossbell Branch. If you have business with us, please knock. Hmm. Barely anyone here, it's weird. I knew Mayor Croy could come up with some crazy ideas, but independence is radical even for him. That said, I can respect being proactive. Survive it at the fittest and all that. You know, you better take chances and challenge yourself to be better. Let's check, you know. If you don't challenge yourself, then you don't expect to get anywhere in life. Be it in the world of politics or the path of the noodle. Quick, 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 quick. I'll do a couple more deliveries and then take my lunch break. And I put it that way, I feel extra motivated now. Just two more until lunch. Two more until lunch. Welcome to the Crossbell News Service. Oh, you're the guys who keep coming behind the desk. They're the SSS, correct? Yeah, good morning. We hear about a request that was sent to us. Something about needing help with a gourmet guide. Thank you all for coming. Are you able to start the request right away? Free food? Here we come. 
Yeah, we can begin whenever. Understood. In that case, I'll have you go to the second floor to hear the details of the request from the person in charge. The second floor? We're allowed. Hello, hello, my dearest SSS. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had a feeling that it was going to be you, Grace. The probability was always high. Ah, oh, come on. Can't you all show a little enthusiasm? It's been a long time since we last worked together. <laughs> if I recall correctly, last time you put in a support request, we had to go all around Crossbill. Wait, just what are you planning to have us do this time? The request said something about a gourmet guide, did it not? Bingo! Got a proposal from the Crossbell Business Owners Association a while back. Something about being inspired by Mayor Croy. And they want to work with the CNS to make a gourmet guide. In conjunction with the Business Owners Association. What exactly do they want you to do? Basically, they want to feature the best restaurants around Crossbell State. In addition to con the coverage, they're going to offer discounts to the readers. You know how it is, keep cross bell and mirror local and all that jazz. Pretty nifty little plan, wouldn't you say? I think I get it. Sounds fairly innovative. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Part of this feature is going to be gourmet recommendations from Crossbell's most prominent figures. For example, Maria Belle Croy from the IBC and Ilya, Theodore and Eugene from Mark and Seal. The goal is to introduce everyone to favourite dishes of Crossbell's most famous citizens. That's where the SSS comes in. You'll be taking part too. It is quite the request. Can't deny that it's piqued my interest. Does the SSS really belong in a lineup like that? Ain't too keen on it either. It's always nice to be shoulder to shoulder with Ilya and Maria Bell. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think we're going to be catching eyeballs if we're in your article like they will. In other words, we're the filler. No way, you can't seriously think that, can you? You guys have been blowing up. We've got a real fan base these days, you know? In fact, we've been getting a lot of requests to snap secret shots of you all living your day-to-day -day lives. Please do not. I'm just joking. Anyway, what's important is that you guys are popular in your own right. If it weren't the case, I never would have asked you here in the first place. Fair enough. So how should we proceed with this request, then? <laughs> You're on board. Let me give you the details. First, you're going to go to all the restaurants and food carts on the list, and try their food for yourselves. Then, I want you each to find a dish that speaks to your soul, got it? It's gonna be the bee's knees. Finally, I want you all to write a little critique that'll be used by the CNS. So we have to go to every spot around the state to find something we like. One problem, what if we can't find anything we like? Have some faith, Noel. You know how big Crossbell is. I'm sure you can find at least one thing that makes you swoon. But if it really comes to that, I'll just have to write a little bit about all the spots you checked out. That's as a last resort, though. Ideally, I want you all to introduce the readers to your new favourite dish. Which means we're headed to at least six different places. Anything we should watch out for? Like, any off-limit places? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, sorry, but all the spots at Michelin have already been covered, and someone else is doing the bars. But other than that, knock yourselves out. What a shame. That takes Trinity off the list, too. Too bad. I'm sure Abbas will be disappointed and miss out on all the potential business. Sorry, Wazzy. I'll put in a good word for it to uh, guys handling the bars. Oh, and I've already gotten in contact with all the eligible restaurants, so don't worry about the tap. We're paying. As long as you identify yourselves, they'll be happy to serve you their signature samples. Sounds lovely. Let's just have to try six spots excluding bars and anywhere in Michelin. Now, the main challenge will be pacing ourselves and rationing. It's going to be a lot of food for us to each find something that we really like. Yeah, there's no rush. Take your time and savor those meals. Once you're all done, come back here and report your findings to the CNS. If I'm not in, let Tria know, and I'll get back to the office in a jiffy. Got it. We'll be off then. Right, so I was warned about this quest specifically by Sky on Discord, thank you very much. It's like, yep, I should check about, like, making sure I get the maximum DP from this. It's going to take several days in the game itself and, you know, for the Let's Play to actually complete it. Because there's one place that will take a while to prepare the dish. So, we best start this now, and then we have to wait. Don't hand it in. Is that okay? It's, it's on the guide as well, it's very much like it's one of those things where it's like, 
this is one of those ones where it's like, I have to check that. Have to check that. So, we'll carry on as we were, though. Each one of our reporters covers a laundry list of topics. Stuff like politics and economics, and not to mention culture and entertainment. Usually bigger agencies will assign people to topics they specialize in. But here, we only have so many people, so everyone will have to help out with every topic at some point. Going for one three different stories coming in this afternoon. Still have some work left to do on my current column. May as well take care of Villa while I'm free. Yes, you must. Hey! You all can't come back here! I'm at the freaking times I try. I swear I'm gonna jam this freaking pyramid on your freaking backside. Uh, please go to the front of the desk if you have any inquiries. Buck her off. Alright. Calm down. She's getting proper, properly angry about this. Right, so, let's see. Because this is this area sorted, isn't it, in terms of NPCs. So let's see about going through our list here. So we got you as a gourmet. Customers, you must be here to try the best noodles in the land. Y yeah, I guess so. With the SSS, you had about a formal support request? The SSS explained their request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Oh yeah, that deal. You're in luck, officers. You don't get to sample the very best my cart has to offer. You're not even a single mirror. Eat up, ladies and gentlemen. I call these my glorious noodles. It's quite the aesthetic. Dark red color tells me this is going to be spicy. <laughs> Come on, give it a chance. The challenge is to clear your mind to grasp the complex flavor that lies beyond the spiciness. Easier said than done if our tongues are on fire. Well, if you say so, there's no point in not trying it. Lloyd and the others ate the glorious noodles. Slurp. Hey, you're right. They are spicy, but they have a deep flavor to them, too. I won't deny that they're delicious. But my concern now is how hard it is to eat soup while standing up. Good point. I don't think it would be an easy stain to get out if you spilled some. Uh, it's always the ladies that are telling me that. Saying my noodles aren't good for being on the go. I say that if you get to have the best darn noodles under Adios' sky, what difference does a few stains make? Damn straight. Brandy? There's a world of rich flavors just beyond this soup's spicy horizon. Combine that with these perfect springy noodles dancing in the soup. Only a real man can appreciate this. This is it, Azel. My man. This is the path of the noodle you've been telling me about. Yes. Now you finally get it. Cherish it, young one. Because this is what enlightenment is. As your reward, I shall teach you the base recipe of these very same noodles. Master it, and open all of your friends' eyes. Learn the recipe for peddlers' noodles. Or peddlers' even. Hey, thanks, Ozzel. And he was really into those noodles. Then that settles who's going to be the one to write this place's section. <laughs> Glad there was at least one of you who shows some promise. Use that recipe I gave you to strive for even greater heights of noodle ascension. I'll be cheering you on from the mountaintop. Oh, that's good to know. Right, so I want to work down the list and make sure we get all the locations that we need. Ooh, that's weird. Hey there, could I interest you in some juice? Excuse us, miss. Uh, we're with the special support section. The SSS explained their request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Well, oh, that thing. Sure. How about this, then? It's a Gerbic tomato soda, my latest product. Like the shake that you make for Speaker McDowell. Yep, even though he's the speaker now, he still orders the usual. This is my newest iteration on it. The soda masks the bitterness a little, so even a Gerbic tomato haters can enjoy its benefits. Well, I want to believe you. Do we really gotta do this? Lloyd? This might be the end of the SSS. You know, the risks of being on the police force, Randy. Every day could be your last. Just try your hardest to keep it down. Lloyd and the others drank the acerbic tomato soda. Come on. Everyone recovered 50 CP. 
I'm dying! Not before me, you are not. The carbonation has only made this Gehenna spawn gain strength. Huh? You think so? Sounds like there's still a lot of room for improvement. Anyway, the bell belly juice should work as a nice panic cleanser. Lloyd and the team drank the bell belly juice. The log. Oh, this is absolutely delicious. The stark contrast and that bitterness of the tomato juice. Be a better idea to write about this in the guide. I think my bitter tomato soda still has a lot of room for improvement. I'll get it right eventually. I'll make something a Kerbic tomato base that everyone can enjoy. Or I'm not Chroma. Are you Chroma? Alright, then we'll see about that. Alright, so... Hello. It's like we're not doing the rounds there yet because we're still going through the list here to make sure we get everywhere. Hey there, want some ice cream? Excuse me, ma'am. We're with the special support section. The SSX has explained their request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Oh, the other guy's taking care of it. The CNS gave me a heads up. Alright, I'm ready to do this. I'd love to recommend my septicolored shepherd. Oh, that sounds good. It's my newest gelato that blends a variety of flavors together. I've even added bits and pieces of candy that burst in your mouth. You never forget that kind of texture. We'd love to try it. Lloyd and the others are ate the septic colored sherbet. Munch. Mmm, it's cool and delicious. Cute too. Right about the texture, I can feel the candy bursting in my mouth. It looks like it's a hit with the SSS ladies. You sure? Tear Top might be suffering from a brain freeze. No, not quite. Simply too shocked for words. The thrill of bursting candy, the refreshing coolness, and the perfect balance of flavors. They harmonize on your palate like a perfectly balanced quartz loadout. This is the beginning of the gelato revolution. Pardon me, scientific breakthroughs are exciting. Safe to say this one is Tio's new favorite. You think you could write about it for the Gourmet Guide? Yes, I will give it a sterling recommendation. Glad you like it. Hope you'll all come back soon. I'm glad you liked it. Hope you'll come back for more ice cream again. Uh -huh. Um, where's next on this? Central Square, okay. Where? Oh, I was meant to go where. I've got to go down the list properly. West Street. I don't want to miss anything. Back again, Lloyd. Want some bread? I guess so. We came because of a support request, actually. The SSS explained the request to gather the gourmet recommendations. Oh, that thing. Sure, I wish I could recommend that you try all of our breads. But if I had to pick one, it'd have to be the Bennett Supreme I gave you earlier. Wow, really? Yep. Wish I could recommend my own, but Bennett really nailed it this month. If you're looking for Morg's Finest, then it's gotta be this one. Hey, hold on a second. Oh, hey, Bennett. I was just in the middle of recommending your... What the hell do you think you're doing? I've not finished developing that one yet. How dare you put my bread in the gourmet guide before I've properly surpassed you. <laughs> what are you freaking out about? It's already delicious if you ask me. Anyway, if you're going to recommend it early, then don't blame me if they end up not liking it. Man, she always freaks out at me like this. I don't get it, all I said was that it was good. Therein lies your answer, my good man. Guess Lloyd wasn't the only lady killer in that ragtag group you guys grew up in. Anyway, if Bennett is so vehemently against it, could you recommend something else? If I have to, I guess. Alright, how about this? Try my latest creation, the Thick Cutlet Sandwich. The SSS each ate the Thick Cutlet Sandwich. Hmm, I suppose so soft. Yeah, and this sauce is something else. This is delicious, Oscar. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'm still working on it, though. It'll be a while before it's sold. That is a shame. Would it be better if we did not include it in our article? Eh, it's up to you. I promise I'll hook you up with the final version once it's done, though. 
Oh, we'll certainly be looking forward to it. That thick cut of sandwich is still in development, so it's not for sale just yet. That's why I wanted Bennett's bread to be in the guide before she yelled at me. Man, I don't get women. Oh dear, mate. Right now, Central Square in the restaurant. Restaurante? Restaurante. Something like that. Good day, everyone. Welcome to Vincent. Do you have a reservation with us? Well, not exactly. With the special support section. The SS has explained their request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Oh, I've heard about that. You're the ones who will be writing our critique, then. Well, feel free to sit at any open table you like. Allow me to recommend our new seasonal herb pasta. It's herb pasta. Thank you. We'd love to try it. Lloyd and the others sat at the table and ate the herb pasta. Entering spaghetti. Um, so do you like our chef's speciality pasta? Pasta. This is delicious. I'll drop it now. The herbs pack a ton of flavor without a bad aftertaste. The taste is exquisite and the texture leaves nothing to be desired. One bite and you can tell you're dealing with a pro recipe. This ain't your mama's spaghetti from again. <laughs> Glad you all enjoyed it. Maybe we should bring Kia with us next time. Sounds like a good idea to me. Be looking forward to your next visit. You know who would love to do this with us? Reese. Which if we brought her along? Thanks for trying our herb, herb pasta. I said I was going to drop it. I hope you'll come back again for it. Yes. Alright, so East Street. I was looking at the list then. East Street is up next, which we haven't done the rounds on yet, so... So, Old Dragon Diner. It says on the list, which is called Long Loud Tavern and Inn. Tell us a different translation. Can I help you? If you want to place an order, go do it at the counter. Sorry about that. We're actually here regarding a support request. The SS has explained the request to gather the gourmet recommendations. Oh, that gourmet guide, yes, I know of it. It's our busy hour, but we won't turn you away. Find yourselves an empty table. We're trying the pride and joy of Long Lao, my peerless fried rice. Oh man, I can't wait. Sounds great, we'll find ourselves some open seats. Lloyd and the others ate the peerless fried rice. Delicious. You really know your stuff, Zhang Hui? Sh Shuang Hui? Hui? Someone let me know on that. Don't think you'd be able to get a masterpiece like this anywhere but Long Lao. You better believe it. Fried rice has always been one of my specialities, but I also recently improved upon it. That's why it's peerless. Nothing compares. Wow, you're not kidding. You would have never sought a dish so simple. God, I'm gonna go through that again because it's like I thought I thought she was saying like sort, but just thought. So I've got to, I've got to redo it there. It's like who would ever sought a dish so simple could taste so complex? I also made fire. I sort of I didn't. It's like, like normally I correct myself and like. I edit it here, but it's like, no, this one's too funny, you've got to focus on it. I just noticed the kitty's over there, look. I used to make fried rice all the time when I was at the barracks, but it's a totally different dish than made by a professional. Don't forget to swallow. Damn. Look at her shovel it down the hatch. As long as she enjoys it, I don't care how she eats it. I've made plenty. Would you like seconds? Sorry, <laughs> sir. Never seen Noelle like this. It's like a kid at the dinner table. I think we know who's going to handle Long Lao's right up. Good luck, Noelle. Collected information from six eateries. We could go report to Grace now. No. Then again, we haven't found everyone a favorite dish yet. Could be more spots to try. There is. Kitty! We're not doing the rounds yet. Not doing the rounds. For this bit. If you enjoyed it that much, then it was worth making. Please come again if you'd like to enjoy my fried rice again. I will. I get... No. Stuck on the table. Alright, so next one on this. We've done the waterfront. This is the thing. Like, the translation is just off on the um, guide here. Where are we? So we've done... Wait, the, the waterfront. Harbour District. Done the admin. Done entertainment. We've gone to West Street. Just on East Street, so we need to go to Mines. So let's go to the garage. 
よし行くかよしどこに行こうかなマインズさあ行くぞよし着いたぞはいだ、Welcome to the Ziggle z i g l The z i g l In? Let me know Thanks, we're with the special support section, we're here about a request The SSS explained the request and gathered the gourmet recommendations Ah,、oh, it's you guys, I've already heard the gist from the Crossbow News Service How about this? I'll cop your mind speciality, stamina steak I hope I have enough room for this Oh yeah, you kids have a lot of other places you need to sample, right? In that case I'll make some bite sized servings. Thank you for being so considerate. Lord and the others ate the stamina steak. Oh man, even though it's just a bite, it's pretty filling. Just what you'd want from a good steak. Yeah, I'm feeling more energized already. Stamina is essential for miners, you know. Pair the steak with a beer, and you'll be back to mining in no time. The diet sounds like the only enjoyable thing about mining. True, but Gans and the others seem to enjoy it well enough. Well, mines, miners are some of the manliest men in all of Crossbell. Anyway, drop by if you ever want to have the full course. You bet we will. If you try a signature steak, your stamina will be immediately revitalized. Please stop by whenever you need a hearty meal. Right, next up on our list is Amerika. We need to go over to the inn. I like how when you like consider it like from our point of view, like it's just over there, the car gets there very quickly. It's just like, oh, that's lovely, and that's like the way I should do it if I'm doing the outskirts sort of thing. But if you were like doing this in like real life, you'd have to come back down here, back through Crossbell, up here, and then up this road. So it's like, if you were doing like the rounds in real life, you would do them so differently, wouldn't you? Because it'd be like so inefficient to go like from there to there and just miss out like going to Crossbell and doing the rounds here. Again, in real life, if you were really here, if you were really at Crossbell, which is in London, by the way. Yeah, I've, I've, I've shown that in several places. There's a place in London called Crossbell Infirmary. It's the only place on the planet called Crossbell. And I can't wait for one thing in future, like when Sarah comes over again in future. We'll go to London. I'm going to that freaking infirmary and just standing outside being like, yep,、yeah, yep.、Yeah. And you know what's best about it? Next door to it is Gilbert and Sons. <laughs> Bluff. <laughs> It's just next door. Anyway. Hello, a special sports section. And welcome back to the Ash Tree Inn. Here for a room or maybe a bite to eat. Actually, we're here regarding a support request. The SSX explained the request to gather their gourmet recommendations. I、ah, said、so、that's it. I've already got word from the Crossbell News Service about it. Alright, l let me treat you to my chef's special omelette rice. Don't mind if I do. Lloyd and the others ate the chef's special omelette rice. Mmm, this is delicious. Agreed, superb. The flavors of the rice, chicken, ketchup, and egg are all simple, but together there's something amazing. Reminds me of how Amerika is so attuned with the nature surrounding it. Anyone visiting the village needs to try this before they can leave. <laughs> Come on, if you lay on the praise that thick, I'm gonna start blushing. Are you quite fond of this dish, aren't you, Lloyd? I think we found your recommendation. Make sure to. Sneak in a few words about Goffin being so chill. It's always hooking us up with some quality grub when we're in America. Sure, I can handle writing this one. Well, I'd be floored if you guys wrote something that drummed up some more business for us. Getting this much praise is kind of embarrassing. But if you guys think we deserve a glowing review, I won't complain. We appreciate the business.、Well, there we go. Good for him. Good for him. Yes. See, here is that、like、I need to go back to Belgard as well, so it's like it's just all over the place. Hello, Sergeant Major Seeker. 
Are you here with the SSS today? Yes, it's good to see you, Temis. Yeah, we're here for a support request. The SSS explained their request and gathered their gourmet recommendations. Ah, yes, I do remember hearing about that from the news service. Our specialty here at Tangan Gate is the Ample Sea Hot Pot. Get to eat it as a group. So you serve a mean seafood hot pot here, eh? We'd love to try it. Please wait. I'll go whip you up a pot of it. Lloyd and the others ate the Ample Sea Hot Pot. Hmm, the taste is quite good. Yeah, you can taste how fresh the fish is. <laughs> I know, right? Since it's easy and tasty, make hot pots often at Tangram Gate. Nothing brings the guardsmen together like sharing a big old hot pot. Now that I think about it. If I had a hot pot with the guys back at the Testaments, when I get the chance, I should bring them here sometime. For real? Want to take your downtown gang to a border gate to eat hot pot? I think I know who like this dish the best. Perhaps we should leave this dish's review to Wazzy then. I was hoping to weasel my way out of doing one, but I don't mind too much. Since hot pots are easy and delicious, we make them a lot here at Tangram Gate. Always puts the guardsmen in a good and friendly mood too. Okay, so now we want to head over to Belgard. <laughs> Hey, Randy. I see you brought the SSS with you, too. What's a grab? Hey, yeah, uh, Stella. Sort of, but we're also here for business. The SSS explained their request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Now that you mention it, I think that rings a bell. I'll serve you up some bellyful hot pot. You should make for the guardsmen here. I didn't know the belly... Uh, belly guard. <laughs> that one's staying in. I didn't know the bell guard unit like hot pot, too. I'm looking forward to it. Sure, stay here and I'll bring a fresh pot right over. So it's a tough decision to decide whether or not to leave in something or edit it out. It's like if I make an error, like if I, like if I said here, if like Lord the others ate the belly than the like that I would edit out and redo it, sort of thing. But if it's like if I like I, like then just did a funny slip, it's like that's staying in. The funny ones stay in. Lord and the others ate the bellyful hot pot. Oh right, you can feel it warming you up, can't you? It doesn't skimp out on the meat to go along with the veggies, it's just as filling as you'd hope it to be. Guardsmen need filling food like this to get through the CGF training. It's no wonder. We often do hot pot parties, but it always ends up with the guardsmen fighting over who gets the biggest chunks of meat. When Randy was here, he would sneak bites from the other servings and stuff like that. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Guy's gotta take care of himself, you know? The bellyful hot pot I serve to the guardsmen sure is delicious. We often do hot pot parties, but everyone ends up fighting over who gets the bigger chunks of meat. Too true, too true. Bum ba ba bum. Bum ba ba bum. Oh, right, so this is our final one. Not you yet. Over here. Hey there, and welcome to Lelectia. Okay, this. What was Lecter? Uh, can I help you to a meal? Sort of. With a special support section from the CPD here about our support request. SSS explained the request to gather their gourmet recommendations. Oh, I get it. It's a little gourmet guide, right? Someone from the CNS got in contact with me about it. There's just one problem. What do you mean? The dish I'm offering needs a lot of time to properly cook. And unfortunately, I just ran plum out. I'm going to have to wait for the next batch if I'm going to submit. So sorry, but I'm afraid you're going to have to leave here empty-handed for today. It's a bad break for us, but if there's no dish, there's no dish. Pardon me, how much time will it take before a new batch is ready? Let's see, I just started on a new one last night, so... Should be done around 48 hours from now. Come see me the day after tomorrow and I'll hook you up. It simmers for three whole days? Must be some rich flavor if you're chasing it for that long. Look forward to tasting the final product. Oh, you're gonna love it. Just don't forget to drop by again once it's done. 
Yeah. My recommended dish is going to take some time to fully simmer, okay? Should be ready in about two days. Sure not to forget about it because it's going to knock your socks off. It's the, that, that's the thing that worries me about this egg. That's been simmering there since the previous game. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, but that's... I'm sure they said lectin last time. I have to check that. I'm sure it was Lecter. Hmm. I remember discussing that point. I don't know. Well, we, we shall check that. Well, I'll check it at least. Who's we? You might check it. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be done for this part, though. We just basically had to get all those things sorted ahead of time. Well, that one mainly. Ahead of time. Ready for when we get that sorted in a few days. So, that's us done for this part, and then the next part, we'll carry on with the rounds. Ta-da for now!